Welcome to another edition on what the Bible says with Ngozi Atiti. Now, so here is a quick one. There is a saying that goes like this. You can only be promoted by the person you serve. That is true. So follow me to Matthew chapter 4 verse 9. In Matthew chapter 4 verse 9 is about the temptation of Jesus Christ. There are two earlier temptations that Christ had already rebuffed Satan. Then he wanted to try again. You know, he's a very stubborn person. He's a very stubborn personality. Hence, that's, that was what led to his rebel. So he took Christ again to a very top high mountain. And then he asked, he made one more request. He now pointed down to the beauties of the world. And I asked Jesus, say, if only you will bow down for me and worship me, I will give you the keys of this kingdom. I will allow you to control all these beauties. But guess what? Because Christ knows that Satan is not, Lucifer is not a boss. And he has nothing to offer because he's not the one that created heaven and earth. And Christ rebuffed him again. In verse 10, he gave him what he needed. Now listen, whatever you pay attention to, you give strength. What are you focusing? What are you putting your strength on? What are you, what is, what is it that you're, you're putting so much attention on? That thing is indirectly becoming your goal. It is in, you are giving, you are giving that stuff strength. Think about it. There are so many things. It could be your job. It could be your cars. It could be your buildings, your properties. It could be social media. It could be anything. Whatever you pay attention to, you are giving strength. Now, I just want to come out here and encourage you and encourage everybody, including myself, that it is okay to rebuff things. It's okay to ignore. It's okay to just walk away. It's okay to not say anything. It's okay to do exactly the way Christ did. To say that he rebuffed him by telling him that, look, I mean, the only person we we need to serve is 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 jehovah almighty the one that created heaven and earth you know one thing you know why satan was asking for service that is the only thing he does not have that in fact i want to tell you for free that was one of the things that made him to rebel christ because he had everything he was he was one of the most beautiful angels that god had he had everything at his beck and call but he did not have worship he didn't have service so he was jealous of service he has always wanted people or things to serve him to worship him and that was why he left that request you know at the at the end and he added a very high price to it to say look i will allow you to to be in charge of the world but christ did what we you and i supposed to be doing that thing that is coming to tempt you rebuff it not everything that glitters is gold some dangers are glazed they are sprinkled with sparkles they are not the way they look like rebuff them don't give them that energy don't give them that strength rebuff it just like christ said god alone is the only one we we should worship and serve so don't worship things that will not give you promotion. Remember, again, I said, it is who you serve that will promote you. So wherever you want your promotion to come from, then that is what you will give your worship. That is the person you should give your worship and your service. And until I see you in another video, stay blessed, stay focused, and remain blessed. Bye-bye.